of your own merit that Jesus died your soul to win. No will of grace and grace alone that brought him from his heavenly throne. By grace, so oh mark this word of promise. When you are by your sins oppressed When Satan plagues your troubled conscience And when your heart is seeking rest What reason can I comprehend God by His grace to you did send That tremble in tribulations, furnace tried by grace, despite all fear and trouble. The Father's heart is open wide. Where could I help and strength secure if grace were not my anchor sure? It's hard to believe that we're already at the end of January. It's difficult to believe that one month of 2021 is already gone. I have a question for you. Have you kept your New Year's resolutions? Or um, did they maybe go out the window January 1st, January 2nd? Or maybe there are some of the resolutions that you're still keeping. Maybe you are exercising. Maybe you are trying to keep fit for this year. Maybe you're trying to be nice to all the people at work. You're trying to be nice to your classmates at school. But I bet that most of our New Year's resolutions have already been tossed out the window. Maybe we've made some new resolutions already as we come to the close of the first month of 2021. But I'd like to share a passage with you that reminds us and gives us that comfort. A comfort that God is the same. Listen to Hebrews 13, 8. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday and today and forever. Don't you find those words comforting? Don't you find those words comforting that Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever? Jesus has made a resolution with us. Jesus said, I will come into this world. I will die for the sins of all mankind so that they could have that salvation, so we would have that eternal life that's waiting for us in heaven. Be thankful. Be thankful that Jesus does keep his promises, that he is the same yesterday and today and forever. I think of during this epiphany season, we just celebrated the birth of our Savior about a month ago. During epiphany, we see that Jesus is the light in this world, the light for all nations, the Savior of all mankind. May we be thankful that he is that same God, that even today, even today his love is going out to us. 
his love for us, that love that led him to the cross, <clears throat> excuse me, is still going for us. That same love that he wants to reach out to us. Take a look at that epiphany light. He doesn't change. If he makes a promise, his promise is kept. And Jesus made his promise that we are part of his flock. We are his sheep. We are the souls that he died for on the cross. Nothing can change that. Nothing can change that, what Christ has done for us. Oh, maybe we thought 2021 was going to be this great year. Maybe we thought we'd get back to normalcy. The vaccines are rolling out. We're not sure again what this year is going to be holding for us. But one thing for certain, be thankful. Thankful that Jesus is there for us. That Jesus' love is there for us. Yes, he is our Savior. May we rejoice in all that he's done for us. Our promises, promises that maybe we made at the beginning of the year, that we'd be kind to our spouse, that we'd be kind to our classmates, maybe they've been broken. But Jesus' promise is not broken. Jesus' love is there. Go to him. Don't be afraid to go to that epiphany life. Go to him who said that he would give us that rest. Make use of that opportunity of prayer that you can go to him and say, Thank you, Lord. That we can lay at his feet all of our requests. He hasn't changed. Maybe we've changed this year. Maybe we've kept our resolutions. Maybe we are still exercising each and every day. Maybe those resolutions have been broken. But Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Hold on to him who has promised to be with us. I pray that your year is going well. But I do know for certainty that Jesus is with you. May he continue to watch over you and your family. May he continue to be by your side as we live in this year, as we live in his grace and his love that does not change, but is the same forever. God, grant this for Jesus' sake. Amen. And we pray, Heavenly Father, we thank you for your Son, who is the same yesterday, today, and forever. In his love he came as an epiphany of light for all nations, that he would come into this world and give his life on the cross for us, so that we might be your dear children. Be with us that we may see that love, that it does not change. Your promises are new to us, that never will you leave us, never will you forsake us. May we have again that comfort in our hearts and that peace in knowing that you are holding our hands as we walk in this world. Amen. Have a blessed week in that love of our Savior that does not change. How blessed are they who hear God's word And keep and heed what they have heard They daily grow in wisdom Their light shines brighter day by day And while they tread life's weary way They have the oil of gladness to soothe their pain and sadness God.
God's word a treasure is to me Through sorrows of night my son shall be The shield of faith in battle The Father's hand has written there My title as his child and heir The kingdom's yours forever This promise fails me never Daily growing wisdom.